Hello, I'm Mario Tonigusi with Faith Spotlight, and joining me today is Bishop William McGratton of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Calgary. Thanks, uh, Bishop, for joining us today. Well, thank you, Mario, and uh, I know that the annual conference is coming up, and so uh, I hope that this interview will be inspirational for those who are attending. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the God Squad uh, Men's Conference, the annual conference. This year's theme is uh, Way to the Father. Uh, it's on March 22nd and 23rd at Ascension Parish. Now, uh, Bishop, I know that you've been uh, part of the conferences in the past. Uh, are you going to be attending this year? I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to. Um, I think I'm going to be... Uh tied up but i i'm gonna hope that i can sort of free up my schedule and be there for part of it at least uh this time yeah let me just ask you uh you know uh you have been part of these conferences in the past and just in general uh bishop mcgratton you know why are these conferences and a conference like this important uh for uh for the catholic faith out there well, I think for men and their spiritual lives, uh, this is very important uh, to set aside, you know, uh, one or two days to experience not only prayer, uh, reflection, the sacraments, but also I think the community of men. And to know that uh, we don't grow in holiness alone, that we are supported. And in that particular way, I think it's a concrete example of that. So I know that many men have found and rediscovered their faith and the importance of their relationship and many times their roles as fathers and as men in the church. And so I think that that's one of the fruits of this conference and, and this gathering of men in our diocese. Yeah, now I know uh, um, the God Squad, one of their, uh, you know, like key mentors of uh, for lack of a better term is is saint joseph and can you talk about uh, saint joseph as as being a, a spiritual uh, leader for men well it's interesting you know when you say that because uh, one of the characteristics of saint joseph is that he's very quiet in terms of speaking and and um, you know not very many recorded um words of saint joseph and it's more the presence uh, more the symbolic uh, sense of being the protector, the one who is uh, guiding. Um, and I think when we think about the role of St. Joseph, you know, if many men can begin to see how they um, carry out their role as, as a husband, uh, a father, that uh, maybe St. Joseph at times can inspire them. Mm -hmm. um, maybe even in not speaking. Uh, so <laughs> that might be something hard for men. I know it's hard for, I shouldn't say this for women, but I, I would say, you know, sometimes silence is a very powerful way to communicate and to have one's presence known. And I think that that is something that men, if they can cultivate that in a very um, positive and very affirmative way, is something that uh, can help them, I think, in their their role as men and fathers. Mm -hmm. What do you think um, uh, men seem to, I don't know, seem to uh, not embrace, uh, you know, uh, the church uh, and, and maybe the, the faith as much, say, as women do, right? You know, men may, may go through the motions, they go to church and, and all that. But in terms of that, that faith and that spirituality, uh, you know, I know this is generalizing for, for many men, it's, it's, it's just not there. Yeah, and I, I think sometimes men are very much um, engaged through what I would say more of the intellectual. So the aspect maybe of uh, scripture study or even where a priest or in a parish, the homilies are very um, not only inspiring, but informative and, and really challenge them with certain perspectives on the world. I think those are elements that we sort of need to begin to see that could be um, much more effective, uh, I guess, in terms of our parish life. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping during our renewal, you know, in the diocese that, you know, men can begin to sort of articulate and sort of um, express to us how we as a church and parishes can maybe support them. And as you say, have them very much actively engaged. And find out the ways in which that could be um, maybe reintroduced in new ways in our parishes through our renewal in the diocese. 
Can you talk a little bit about the renewal? What is, what is that? Well, uh, you know, we all went through COVID, which is a history, and it's behind us. Um, and it did affect social life. It did affect our parishes. Um, we've also had the Synod. And I think because of that experience in our diocese, I saw that many people expressed their faith. And as a result of that, we went further with it in terms of discernment. And through that process of reflecting on what people said, we saw that there are three priorities that are starting to emerge. Uh, one is, is forming missionary disciples in Christ. Uh, the second is, is realizing that we are to be a church of encounter. Yes, welcoming people, but also witness uh, mm -hmm. the idea of service and, and strengthening the family. And I think all three, in some ways, interweave with men's ministry, men's formation in the faith, um, their role in parishes of witnessing their their faith, and also I guess their their needed presence as as father figures in the family. So mm -hmm. I really see that you know there, our renewal can touch many people and many communities at different levels because it's yes they're general but they're they're part of what I think we heard in the synod, and I think we're responding in ways that I think will renew the life of faith in individuals and in our parishes. All right. One last question for you, uh, Bishop McGratton. What's your uh, message to men uh, of the faith uh, out there in, in Calgary? And and uh, why should they attend this conference coming up? Well, I noticed the, the poster and it's the, the Rembrandt picture of, uh, you know, the father receiving the prodigal son. And I think that for men, uh, they need to see themselves in both roles. You know, we are a prodigal son. We're in need of conversion to turn away from sin, uh, to recognize the, the goodness and the mercy that God ex, uh, extends to us. And then I think also to have the, the ability and the courage to, to sort of be that, that welcoming father, um, to allow the role of their uh, masculinity, their role as fathers, to be very much seen as Rembrandt depicted, you know, the father who mm -hmm. joyously received back that son. So I know many men, you know, we all have different family circumstances, but that reconciling presence, that forgiving presence uh, is another important message. So I'm hoping the conference can stir up in the hearts of the men, both aspects of this picture, and that they can see themselves as returning to the father through it. All right. Thank you, Bishop McGratton, for joining us today. Well, thank you, Mario. And uh, as I said, I'm going to try and clear a part of my schedule and I'll, I'll try to attend. OK, well, I miss those Swalombo sausages for lunch. Right? <laughs> that's that's a big incentive. I should show up for lunch. <laughs> All right. Okay. Super. That was uh, Bishop William McGratton of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Calgary. I'm Mario Taniguzzi with Faith Spotlight. Thanks for joining us today.